Will you have enough money to retire? Is there enough in your pension? There's a little calculator which I found, which is completely free, from which, imagine you've got 500,000 when you retire. We'll do a million in a second, okay? And at the point of retirement, you want to take a tax-free cash lump sum. This is if they don't uh, cap this or do all sorts of tax changes to it. Uh, and you take out 10% of that uh, at retirement. And let's say you're going to put it in a cautious mix of cash and fixed interest products. And we can do adventurous in just a second, okay? Uh, oh, sorry, no, moderate. Let's say moderate portfolio. Draw down amount, you want to take out uh, 40,000 each year, which is quite large, okay? The general rule of thumb is 4%. It's, it's a very general rule of thumb of your total portfolio amount. But let's say we've gone with 40, and you want to increase that by 2% each year to keep up with inflation. What are you left with? And as I say, it's on Witch's website. Uh, just go into pensions and retirement options for cashing in, etc., etc. Your results, you're going to run out of money after 14 years of retirement. So what are the options? Well, you probably don't want to have less than 40. You might say, no, 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 don't worry, I can live on 20. Not so nice living on 20. Don't forget there might be tax implications for this. Um, you might say, well, I won't withdraw too much money. Maybe I'll just withdraw 20 tax-free. Okay, um, And you look at the results and you can expect some money left. Now, 20 is half of the 40, obviously. That's one way to go. There are other ways to make it last more, which is to increase this by having greater growth. That's obviously the obvious way, save more for your pension. But even more than saving for your pension, I find trying to get a bit more performance growth. When, when you see the S&P rising 25% uh, in 2023 and 55% for the NASDAQ, you think, well, wait a minute, is there a way of getting some of those gains to make that number go up? And let's say you did manage to do that, okay? And you got to uh, a magic number of a million, Right? You wanted to withdraw tax-free, maybe 10,000, uh, 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 sorry, 10% in the first year. And so you went with a more adventurous portfolio. Okay, And the drawdown, how much would you like to draw down each year? Well, in that case, so you want to go with 50,000 spending money each year. Just keep it at 2% for inflation. Okay, well, 32 years after retirement, you're okay. 32 is not too bad, 32 years of retirement, right? So what's critical here? Getting that number to rise. How do we get that number to rise? You can either save more or you can start earlier. Well, you need a time machine for that. Or you can improve performance. At least ask your IFA, your wealth manager, okay, what are we invested in? Why are we not getting return numbers? By the way, the assumptions in all of this, so you can see it, it's from... Uh, it's completely free and it's on which magazine's website is cash is half a percent yet well actually cash is about closer to a lot more it's close to 4.75 um, and they've assumed that for bonds and fixed interest which is fine and equities at 7.25 which is perfectly fine as well actually if you're in the u.s markets you're looking at in sterling terms over the last 10 years you've had double that 15 percent per annum but anyway this is one of the reasons why that performance figure needs to improve a lot more for you. And if it improves a lot more, then you do a heck of a lot better. Okay, so this shows how you're left after 32 years. Now, uh, you probably wanna leave something for your children, grandchildren, spouse. There's all these other factors to consider. Uh, so what I would say with this, I'm just showing you, sorry, those numbers again over here. What I would say to you, is have a look at campaignforamillion.com, my free education on improving your knowledge on pensions, how they work, and making sure. Actually, my goal is to add an extra million to a million people's pensions across their lifetimes by teaching them how to invest better sooner, okay, and getting improved performance. That's my thing that I've done through my 18 odd books. I should have introduced myself at the beginning. I'm Alpish Patel. I'm a hedge fund manager. I'm also a former visiting fellow in business at Oxford University, where I lectured on behavioral finance. I've written 18 books on investing, former Financial Times columnist of the Diary of an Internet Trader column, weekly column in the Financial Times, and uh, Bloomberg TV uh, online trading uh, presenter as well. So 
host of expertise there and hoping to teach a lot of people oh, I should put this here hoping to teach a lot more people how to be better at investing for a better uh, for a better retirement thank you